My name is Naman and today I'm going to talk about a very important topic, security of SCADA system. Sometimes you call it cyber security. Before starting this topic, I'm going to tell you one thing. This is going to be very interesting and it is going to be explained very easy and you will enjoy it as you enjoy eating fresh cake. I will make it as easy as ready delicious food. Let's start today's discussion before wasting any time so before going into detail let's understand what is the SCADA and where exactly we need to have a cyber security solution implemented and why we need that we do have a process industry in every process in industry like fertilizer chemical oil and gas power sector we have certain processes going on and to measure the different parameters, different process variables, we need to put in instruments and some electronic devices. And to properly control that all process, you need to have either PLC, DCS, RTU, or some controller there to do the, this job. So that's why we we need to have instrument connected to the. PLC RTU and there are some field buses used there to connect to the PLCs also. But our discussion is not to talk about in detail about everything here because we have already talked on one another session. If you haven't get a chance to see that, go to that video and you will find detail of everything, every level there. So then we have to after RTU or PLC DCS, if we need to send that data outside the station, outside the plant, then we might need to have a SCADA system in there. SCADA system definitely uses different channels to send the information. So one of the channels is internet and that's widely used. So when you are sending information through internet to the another SCADA room, where we have you know, centralized control room, and this is what we call it master control room so we are sending it through internet you can see internet is right here and this is our master control room where we have SCADA software installed, engineering station, operating station, servers all in place there so when we are sending information through internet we have to take care about cyber security because if this internet is connected have access to everyone so any bad guy who is getting in there he can try to get into your system and then he can do very bad things to your process especially when we talk about the boiler control if somebody get an access to your boiler process control then it is going to be very difficult and it's going to be very very harsh scenarios for you like if in the case some unauthorized access is you know some hacker get into your systems as you know wanna cry and ransomware is there that's going very you know every, one day 125 computer at the same time or get hacked by wanna cry and ransomware this is a huge stuff going on so when you are protecting your system from unauthorized access on this on parallel these hackers are working on to get you into your system and they are using same algorithm that you are using to secure your system even if you talk about WannaCry encryption was used in there you know your drives were encrypted and they are asking money to un encrypt the drives so but we will not talk about WannaCry and ransomware today and the main discussion is how we can protect our system from any attack so for that we have to first understand like uh, how the data is traveling so when we talk about data is access here is coming through router to, and then there we have a firewall in, and then we have a switch and then through switch everything is connected first layer of protection is your router router should be properly configured 
there should be you know there should be a VPN tunnel created there there should be RPSec tunnel created there and the data that is passing through internet should be encrypted so all cybersecurity solutions that are standard should be implemented on router side then there comes a firewall firewall is just like a security guard it's at the door of your house and is protecting your uh, like so you you know like security guards at your door of your organization or door of your house to protect your organization or house same is the case when we talk about industrial control system if we put in a firewall so that firewall is like a security guard protecting your control system from unauthorized access only specified ports only specified source and destination IP addresses and our host names should be allowed in firewalls and firewalls should be configured properly only specified ports that are required for the communication should be open the rest of the things should be kept blocked so that's that's very important to take care here then there comes uh, your if you talk about your connectivity of your internet your internet of SCADA system should be separated should be separated from unauthorized access should be separated from the corporate uh, culture and those people who have you know access to that particular system should be trained properly so that they know about cybersecurity threats concerns they know about cybersecurity solutions they know what to do like for example if you are having this internet this particular in, uh, network connection it should be definitely separated from your corporate internet connection because corporate c internet connection is always exposed to internet and you don't have that much of cyber security implemented in there so that's why you should keep it separate with your industrial control network hope so you understand my point and also on a when we talk about the system level every system should have windows updated regularly and also we uh, employees are trained like unauthorized or you know something that unusual on if somebody is using email on any of the you know stations that are connected to the to the SCADA systems that should be you know like you should imply should be trained like you should not open every email in there so that's very important you have to disconnect unnecessary connections to the SCADA system and then you have to definitely evaluate uh, security of your remaining connections to network that whatever you are using in there then you have to uh, unnecessary services that are running in there that should be kept turned off and you don't rely only on you know the property that are the, the normally protocols that we are using to protect your system only you have to keep every possible aspect of the security in place like as I told you like this is very important to update your operating system regularly and there should be uh, you know technical audits of SCADA devices and networks that are connected to them you know that SCADA security uh, systems or SCADA systems there so that should be there should be a properly technical audit in there and these kind of like you should have to define cyber security roles responsibilities authorities for managers and administrators and user everybody should be aware of their role so that's really important to understand this thing when we talk about our cyber security solution the first layer of protection is router and then there comes a firewall in there and the proxies after that and then operating system and then applications and then policies and procedure and SCADA network is after that so if guy passes through these all layers of protection then can he can access to the SCADA network first thing is router if router is compromised firewall is in there 
to protect you then there's a proxy servers that are there to protect you then operating system is there like if you have antivirus installed there properly and then you, you if, if you talk about applications then if you have uh, password protections everywhere and all your applications that you're using there like antivirus is one of the application you should use in your system then if you have proper policies and procedure implemented there then your system can be you know secure from unauthorized access I cannot cover all the details in this particular session because we are here to just to introduce you about cyber security solutions that are possible in SCADA security networks and SCADA you know when you talk about SCADA networks it should be very much clear like it can be easily get into the you know anybody can get into your system if you don't have proper cyber security solutions implemented if you like the video like it share it and subscribe this particular channel of YouTube and turn your notification on because we are gonna post a lot of stuff Salaam alaikum